Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Melanie. I know it has been quite some time. And I do apologize. Um, I think we missed all of April, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely my fault. Um, so I've just been traveling a lot, like seriously, a lot. And um, I, you know, I remember before I used to say, I love job that lets me travel all the time because I love going to places, meeting new people, seeing new things, and you know, I, it would just be great. Um, and I have to say, I don't dislike it, but there are moments, there are times when I wish I could just stop and be and not have to worry about what's next and what's coming and all of that stuff. Anyway, so. I know I'd said in the beginning that I didn't want these to be like journal entries because I'm sure most of you could care less. <laughs> but I do want to talk about that. The thought about stopping. You know, I've talked about going on a journey, finding balance. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in being everything we're supposed to be, doing everything we're supposed to be doing, then don't take the time to make sure that it's what we really need to be doing at all. Um, sometimes we're worried so much about fixing a problem or finding a solution or, you know, achieving a goal that the goal becomes bigger than the need for the goal. So, you know, I have certain things that I want to do with my life. And and I set those goals up for myself. But sometimes, you know, some of the goals you set are because there are expectations that other people have put on you. And you do need to sometimes take that moment to think about whether you're doing it for you, you're doing it because of an obligation you have, or you're doing it to please someone else. Because while I'm not going to sit and say you should never do things for other people, I mean, I'd be the last one to say that. I live my life selflessly when I can. But there is a selfishness to selflessness. And I know that sounds contradictory, but it's not. If you put everything else, if you put everything on someone else, like you're doing it because of them, then ultimately you're blaming them when you can't achieve the, the goal that you didn't set for yourself. I mean, if you really think about it. And I'm all for saying that you want to be everything that you promised you would be. Because accountability is huge for me. Huge. I never say I'm going to do something that I know that I won't be able to do. And even if I don't achieve it, it's, it's not because I didn't try my very hardest. And those who appreciate that, will appreciate it. And those who don't probably didn't deserve all the effort put for anything. So, take some time. Think about what it is that you want to do and what you're doing to make those things happen. And if the two don't line up, then someone needs to take a moment to think about what's really going on. Then. And I don't know. I'm I'm in a chill kind of position right now. Um, I'm kind of going with the flow. It's kind of why I'm I picked the song that I did. I'm relaxed. I'm cool. I'm not letting things bother me. There are lots of things that I could worry about and be concerned about and cry about and be angry about and yell about and scream about. But I'm not going to do that because one, it's a waste of time, and two, um, it's just me out here. <laughs> by myself um, my parents you know can only do so much from where they are my friends can only do so much I know right now that the only person that I can turn to and know that they will always be there is the Lord and I do that um, and that relationship is still growing and, and changing and, and evolving and getting stronger because it needed to I mean as a single woman I think that there are a lot of things um that I have to think about on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of those things is how long am I going to be this single woman? I'm, 
And I mean, there was a time when I was really, really concerned about that. Like, oh my gosh, when am I going to be able to be this thing I built up in my head? This married woman with children and a family and all those things the little girls, some little girls, three little girls. And now I'm not as worried. My whole focus right now is I know that the Lord blessed me with lots of gifts and I need to use them. And he wouldn't have given them to me if there weren't a use for them. So the huge capacity I have to love, the patience that I'm learning, learning the openness, thoughtfulness, caring, concern, all of that is for a reason. And I just have to wait for the right opportunity to exhibit all of those to the person who's going to deserve them all. So really, this is my moment to stop, think, and figure out what's next because I know that it's something big. I mean, 2010 was a whirlwind. There was just so much going on um, emotionally, physically. And I moved into 2011 with some of the same mentality, but a new release on how I wanted to attack it all. And now, halfway through the year, I mean, we're almost halfway through the year. We're almost halfway through the year. <laughs> I feel like I kind of have a handle on what it is I want to do. It's just about doing it now. And therein lies the problem. So, motivation. It's definitely going to be the next topic. But for now, I'm putting my plan in place. I've stopped, thought about why I'm doing what I do. And you know what? I think I'm doing everything correctly. So... We'll just see what goes on from here. Anyway, check on Miss Melanie. A little subdued this evening. But still holding on to the mantra. Live, love, and let the rest go. Alright, yeah. See you next time. Bye.